Welcome to this video on the collaborative essay. This is going to be our research essay for the semester, and this is going to be the group essay. This video is going to talk to you a little bit about the essay, just a little overview, but there's a lot more detail given on the actual assignment page. And we're also going to talk about how to choose groups for success in this assignment. All right, so first of all, relax. This is the research paper. But whenever I say that word, usually people just get a little bit freaked out. So just relax. I'm going to teach you a method for approaching the research paper that's going to be different. It's going to make things a lot easier for you. Um, you just have to trust me. You have to follow what I'm telling you to do, and this should be a pretty smooth process. I started teaching this method probably about 10 years ago because I was seeing a lot of papers that were plagiarized. So I started teaching you this method by which you will write the paper first without any research, without doing any research, without even Googling anything. And you'll create the paper and then later you'll come back and you'll add in the research. So trust me, this method works as long as you follow the steps. This group paper, this collaborative paper, is not just something that I require. It's the English department. We require this, and it's not just us that requires this. It's the um, Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board that requires this as part of your curriculum. So I know you may have had bad experiences with groups in the past, but hopefully we've got a foolproof method for you to um, approach this a little differently and I fine-tune the process so that maybe this will be a very successful experience for you. If you do not participate in this group assignment, you're going to not have met the requirements and you will make a zero um, because you are not following the guidelines of English 1301 and the Texas Education Coordinating Board. All right, so let's just talk about the essay a little. It's going to be, you're going to start off, remember we said you're going to be writing the essay without the research first. So that essay will be about 600 or 800 words. That's the same range that we've been writing in this semester. And then once we add the research in, the paper will be about 900 to 1200 words. You will not do any research at all before being told to do so. All right, because that way, we know what you have included in the paper without research so that then everything that we include later is going to need to be cited. So please don't Google, don't look up anything. This essay, um, again, will be written first and then we'll add in the research later. So let's talk about groups a little bit. You're going to have three members to your group. Each of them is going to share an equal role in the group and each of them um, will, each group member is going to receive an individual grade for what that person did, their, their little part of the paper that was just their responsibility. So that's what the individual grade will be. And then the group grade will be for that finished product, that full essay that everyone worked on. Now, each member is going to be responsible for one of the body paragraphs. That becomes their, their baby. That's their paragraph, and they will write that paragraph. They will revise and edit that paragraph. They will let the group members look at the paragraph and help them with revision and editing. Later, they'll add research for that paragraph. So that becomes their paragraph. All members then are going to collaborate on the introduction paragraphs and the conclusion paragraphs. So there will be the body paragraphs that individual group members do, and then of course there'll be the intro and conclusion. And of course, revising and editing, editing, you know, through peer review, um, everybody's going to work together to to make sure each other's paragraphs are the same quality that we need to have. When it comes to essay grading, I've already mentioned that you're going to have, you know, that individual grade for your particular paragraph, but then you're also going to have that finished product, that final copy of that essay 
um, that has the research incorporated. And so everybody will be getting a grade for that essay. Um, you're going to need at least six outside sources per group. So that means that each person is finding two sources that they can use to incorporate in their paragraph to help support what they have been saying. Um, some other considerations in grading will be the length. Did you operate within that 900 to 1200 word limit? Um, do you have a good command of the English language, including punctuation, capitalization, grammar, sentence structure? Have you mastered MLA format in the documentation style for those in-text citations in the work cited? Um, do you have basic essay mastery, like the thesis statement? Is there a good thesis statement, topic sentences that set up the problem or solution and directly support that thesis statement? Good support of the topic sentences, including that research you'll incorporate in. Um, that it's going to enhance that support of your particular topic sentence, a good conclusion that actually draws an ultimate conclusion for the paper. And again, a reminder, you'll get an individual grade and a group grade. All right, so groups, that's usually the part most people are most concerned about. Some of you have had some horrible group experiences in the past. Hopefully we can choose groups in such a way that you have a more successful experience. So there are three important factors to the success of a group. One of those is choosing the right group members. One of those is being available to group members. And another is doing your part for that group. So let's talk about each of these individually. First of all, you are going to be working with two other people, okay? So your group will be consistent of three people, will consist of three people, all right? So you're going to be allowed to choose your own group members. And in fact, what I've done is I've gone into Blackboard, I've set up a Discuss It forum so that you can get in there and tell people some things about yourself and what you want to work on with this with this paper, what are your top two choices of topics? And you can be honest about you and your work ethic. And hopefully you can have a couple people that are interested in working with you based on those, you know, that opportunity in the discussion forum for you to find people. All right. So when it comes to choosing those group members, you need to choose two people who share your same common work ethic and dedication. Now, let's talk about the different types of people, okay? So, first of all, there's the kind of person that as soon as they get an assignment, they start work. And some of them create a, a timeline, a plan, the whole shebang. And they know they want to get this done early, okay? So, that kind of person is very driven. They're a type A person. They um, can be very perfectionistic sometimes. Um, they're very, they're, they're high achievers. They, they're driven to get this done, all right? Now, not everybody is that way. Some people are that way because of their life circumstance. Some people have so much going on in their personal life or their work life that they have to be that kind of person. Okay, so whether it's just a natural inclination for that for a person or whether it's driven by their circumstances right now, doesn't matter. That person is going to start on day one and they are just going to work really hard to get this done on time, if not early. Now, procrastinators. First of all, there is nothing wrong with procrastinators. All right. So you have different types of procrastinators. So let's talk about the, the one end of the spectrum. So you've got the kind of procrastinator that will get the assignment today and will put it aside thinking, I've got a lot of time. I'm not, I don't even have to worry about this yet. And then suddenly they'll remember that they've got to get this done at the last minute. And then they're jumping through hoops and they're staying up all night and they get it done. 
Okay, that's what I call the extreme procrastinator. Not everybody's an extreme procrastinator. There's another kind of procrastinator, and there's all kinds of varieties, but we'll just keep it at two, all right, for procrastinators. There's the other kind of procrastinator that will get the assignment today. They will go home. They will think about it. They might even they choose a topic. They might do some free writing or not. And then they are so proud of the fact that they got started early that they put it aside thinking, I'm so proud I got it started. Okay, I can take a break and I'll come back to it later. And then they remember the day before it's due. And then they whip up their horses and they're in this uh, pretty much the same panic mode that the, the other type, the extreme procrastinator's in, okay? But this type of procrastinator might do a little, okay? Um, so, you do not want someone that's a type A personality that, or someone that needs to get this done and needs to get this done early. You do not want that person in a group with an extreme procrastinator because they're going to drive each other crazy. And that is not a good mix, okay? So do not mix procrastinators with those who want to complete assignments early. This is what we call a caustic mix. It's explosive, okay? Also, you, do, you should not mix those who are all about the bare minimum. And you know who you are. There are some of you that you're about the bare minimum. And so you don't want to be in a group with overachievers or perfectionists. And you're over here like, I'd just be happy with a C minus. All right. That is not a good mix. Okay. You don't want to mix individuals who think they have all the time in the world. I got lots of time. To, you don't want those in a group with somebody who um, does not know how they're going to get this done because they are so busy. Their work schedule is so busy. They have family responsibilities. This is not a good mix. You don't want to mix individuals who seem extremely different based on some of the discussions that you may have had in the discuss it or discussion forums. Um, if you've got extremely different views on things, this is not going to be a good mix. Um, you've had a chance maybe to already get to know people a little bit through their views and their voices in discussions. Um, maybe you, you know, have another, cl have classes with them or have known them before. So you choose your two people carefully. Now, let me say this. Some of you have a friend in the class. You shouldn't necessarily choose your friend. And friends, don't get upset if a friend doesn't choose you. Because you can be friends with someone who is an overachiever and you are an extreme um, procrastinator. You can be friends with someone and y'all have very different views. This, you've got to be careful. Don't be offended if your friend doesn't choose you. And don't just choose your friend because your friend's your friend. All right, so choosing your group members is the first important factor for success. Another one is being available, okay? Group members should have reliable contact information for each group member, okay? Make sure you give them the easiest means for contacting you. Don't give them an email address and you never check your email. Um, if you would prefer phone calls, tell them and give them your phone number. If you would prefer text, then give them your phone number. Um, if you would prefer email, give them the email you're going to check. Some of you would prefer staying in contact through social media. Through There's messenger services in social media, Snapchat. So, you know, whatever you're going to use and whatever's easiest for them to contact you, that's what you should be giving them. Don't avoid the attempts that people are making to contact you. Okay? Again, if you have chosen your groups wisely, and you didn't pick the person who wants to get it done early and you're just chill about it, okay? And that person just would be contacting you all the time because of that. If that's not the situation, they're, they're only contacting you because they need you and need your input. So don't put your head in the sand and avoid.
those, those attempts to contact you. I would make time as a group to meet virtually, you know, see each other and, and actually have that opportunity to work on this um, together, you know, with, with Google and everything that Google offers you um, with Google Drive and with the ab ability for you to take a document and share it. Um, and meet up about it, there's no reason why you can't use one of these tools, whether it's some Google product, whether it's Blackboard Collaborate, whether it's Zoom, all of these things are available to you. All you've got to do is keep me in the loop and let me know what I need to set up for you. And another important thing about being available is being supportive to your other group members. We're at the time of the semester where Oh my goodness. I mean, there's everybody's freaked out. Everybody's stressed. Okay. And that's in addition to they've got work issues, they've got home issues, they've got whatever issues. Okay. So if you've got a group member that is kind of falling behind, there's probably a reason. Reach out to that person, be supportive of that person. All right. Doing your part is also another huge factor of success in a group. Remember that this is someone else's grade too. It's not just yours, okay? If you want to blow your grade, that, that individual grade is going to show that. You didn't do what you needed to do, but you're also hurting other people. So make sure you're doing your part. Do not create added stress by not communicating. Communicate with your group members about what's going on. Communicate that you can only meet at night after 10 when you get off work. Communicate. That will relieve stress. Get your part of the work done. Help write that intro and that conclusion paragraph. Be ready to help revise and edit other people's paragraphs is in addition to yours. Do not let another group member take over. Now, we remember the horror stories about people that won't do their part in a group assignment. But there are plenty of horror stories out there, and I've seen it myself, with group members that come to me and say, Ms. Tina, we want to be doing stuff, but he took it over. He won't let us do anything. Folks, that's just as bad as the person that won't do anything. So you need to make sure that if you... Do not try to take the lead and take over everything. By the same token, you need to do your part. And if that person is trying to take things away from you, then you need to speak up and you need to problem solve. Which brings us to the last issue. Try to solve your own issues before you ever contact me. For example, if you are having conflict in your group, try some conflict resolution. If you are having trouble communicating with somebody, you better make sure you have used every option that you have on multiple ways to communicate them with them. Do everything that you can to solve your problem before you ever get me involved because I'm not your mom. You're not going to come tattle because the first thing I'm going to say is what have you done to solve this problem? Okay, so make sure First thing you want to do is make sure you have read and understand that assignment, multiple page assignment. Make sure you have chosen two topics you're interested in and then go to discuss it and go to that forum on choosing partners and fill in the information I have told you to fill in in your post. And then you'll start getting some people interested in working with you and you can make your group, okay? But make sure you've done everything beforehand. You understand the assignment. You've picked a couple topics before you ever go to discuss it, to choose that. All right, that concludes our little mini lecture on um, the collaborative essay and on groups. So I hope you choose wisely. Thank you.